And the hits everybody is talking about. Yeah, the hits keep on coming like a bad FM station. Jacob Truba again. Nathan McKinnon is looking down. Truba steps up and he and he shakes off the mittens and goes with Gabriel Landeskog. Good, who tilt. Can, good tilt. And Jacob did well because Landeskog has been on a heater of a fight run the last couple of years. All right, great show. Crosby, Ovechkin, Jeremy Schaaf, you know it's good. Their impact on the NHL. McCarr and Fox, two of the best in the game. The psychology behind their game. Couple of hashtag college hockey players, UMass and Harvard. Trevor Zegras, goal of the year. You saw it. We talked to Trevor about the day after and also the fan that went social with his reaction to that crazy goal. And the top six, Crosby and Ovechkin goals. And also some breaking news. Jim Rutherford will now be in charge of the uh, Vancouver front office, not the GM, kind of like the, the Grand Poobah. They're still going to look for a GM, but congratulations to Jim, former Tendy. Yep. Penguins. When I was a kid, I watched him play in the Civic Arena. In 100%. 100%. Let's keep going with the Jacob Truba hit, Torts. I want to get your take on it. Uh, a couple nights in a row, one in Chicago, one in home against Colorado, uh, stepping up, big, strong defensemen, hitting guys with their heads down, um, both shaken up. Obviously, what is your take on that hit? And should these hits be a part of hockey if guys are being wheeled off. I, I it should be part of hockey. I mean it, it's it's tough to watch. I get that but that is part of the game uh, and this is the way it's a big part of Truba's game. I, I think the biggest thing that you need to think about here is I think there needs to be some awareness of players of who's on the ice where you are on the ice at certain times and that body checking is part of the game. I know the game has gone to skill and it's gone to speed, but body checking is still a big part of it. They're coming quicker and harder, and they're bigger. Yes. So you have to be even more aware. So, again, I don't want to – I mean, these, these are injuries, and it's really tough to watch. I do not want to uh, run these guys down, but I think overall in the National Hockey League, hitting – you know, the game's changed. Mm -hmm. But there is still hitting, and there are still players – that's a big part of their game that you have to be aware of when they're on the ice. So – uh, I think some onus needs to fall on to some people as far as where they are and who's on the ice they're playing against. I couldn't agree more. Number one, we hope that Jujar Kerr is healthy. That's Absolutely. the most important thing, to your point. And the exact same thing with Nate the Great McKinnon, Nate Dog, as he's affectionately known. But here's one thing when you're playing, and you just say it, you have to be aware of who's on the ice where. Situational awareness. And I also am really big on verbal communication. That's why I'm here in your living room on our team talking. You've got to be talking for your teammates talking from the bench heads up heads up in the net it's it's really imperative for the goalie to be verbally communicating as well heads up hard around give the players a little bit of traffic control that would help them in instances like this I have a lot of respect for Truba here too, too. In, in where he comes out and does it again totally. you know McKinnon's you know he, he, he's not taking numbers he doesn't care if it's a fourth line or a star he's trying to play the game the right way the way mm -hmm. he's been taught and the way he's played in the National Hockey League so and again, I'm really, uh, the guys are hurt. I get that, and I'm not trying to run that down, but this is part of the hockey game. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.